IDC was formed in 1940. The IDC is fully owned by the South African government and it was formed to promote industrialization after World War II. So in 1940, the initial capital came from IDC and today we are self-financing development institution. So we, as, as the KZN office, is limited to our to KZN, but we have of offices throughout South Africa. So IDC is well uh, represented in, in, in the country and beyond in, into the rest of Africa as well. IDC operates within different sectors. Uh, for the mere fact that uh, we're more than 70, 70 years old, uh, we understand the businesses, we understand the industries. We finance ourselves off our own balance sheet because we have various equity investments. As a result of with through the dividends and the returns that we get, we use that as a means of ITC raising money, which will end up on lending to businesses. Our vision is to be the primary force of sustainable economic development in KZN as well as South Africa and Africa. We have a well-rounded team that focus on the IDC mandate, on the, on the vision of the IDC, because at the end of the day it's about those job creation and, and it's some sort of fulfillment in ensuring that when you drive around you, you see your you see those factories, you see those businesses that you that the IDC has intervened and funded and, and that has stimulated the economy. We are a close-knit team that's always working together and we see ourselves as business partners to our clients and therefore we partner with them to present a sustainable and viable application. The whole team is basically very passionate about development. So the passion that we have through the specific results that we see uh, contribute to us wanting to stay and, and, and make various changes within different communities through our investments. The IDC has a developmental focus and at the moment we are focused on developing black industrialists, women and youth. We are black industrialists and youth can or may qualify for discounted interest rates on their finance. And we very focus on the president's drive for investment. Together with that foreign direct in investment, IDC will play a critical role in that investment drive to establish those businesses in South Africa. With us getting involved in partnering with the client, we have a very, very, very vast knowledge and experience which we then uh, contribute in terms of uh, assisting uh, uh, our clients when, when we assist them. Each job created feeds a family of four or five in KZN, so that makes our hearts happy. Uh, there have been cases where we created specific bailout funds which were targeted in rescuing businesses that were pickling. So through the bailout fund that we created, we ended up saving and rescuing a, a number of jobs and a number of businesses. So IDC, in, in short, we are we are innovative to see what are the opportunities in the in the business sector that can sustain the economy and create jobs. Financing is is, is sometimes it's, you can't feel in touch, but there's some gut feeling within you to say, let's go out there and see if there's a potential on how IDC can get involved here. Uh, part of our key ro role is uh, development. We, we start businesses from scratch. The, the main success is, is the comparison between uh, the before and the after, where prior to us getting involved, there was nothing. But through the experience and the skills that uh, ITC has, we do do our research, uh, we do our own due diligence uh, with those results proving that uh, this concept can actually work and then we go all the way out to support the project. Historically, IDC has always been the forerunner in creating new industries. Uh, we've very focused on the 4IR 
both internally and externally, because there's new uh, there's new industries going to be created, and, and I is equipping our team uh, internally to deal with those new industries that will be created in that electronic space or social space. We do have um, a light industries business unit which focuses on your ICT sectors, information communication and technology and I think with the fourth industrial Rev revolution technology is going to play you know a big role and there will be major changes in equipment taking into account robotics and there may be you know a decrease in the jobs however I think the more important thing to note is that there will be a shift in the skills required mm -hmm. so it's not necessarily decrease in jobs however we will require different skills that may be a challenge for South Africa and our economy. I think the education systems um, need to shift to take that into account. As Crystal said, your education system must be able to to drive that, and and so there's, in essence, there'll be a realignment of jobs across sectors. I think it's development, as I indicated earlier on, uh, that's part of our mandate, and we we'll do it passionately and, and we do it wholeheartedly and we do it very well. We believe in ensuring that uh, people get assisted uh, with them and their businesses making a difference. I'll say job creation. By having development, the spin-off is job creation. And by creating jobs, you create a whole country that ensures our future leaders, the young, young and up-and-coming, have a opportunity to, in, to, to get employment in, in the country as opposed to having to move out of the country. I'll say passion. I think if you are passionate about what you do, you will do it wholeheartedly. You will feel a sense of happiness on a daily basis once you're trying to develop and create jobs and finance businesses, increase industrial capacity, grow our economy. So if you're passionate about what you do, you can get it done.